Hello everyone, it's the Upform team over here, and today we're going to show you guys how you can start better using your Quattrix forms. Specifically, we're going to go into the differences between results versus reports before showing you guys how you can start accessing these features to better analyze your data. So, the way that results and reports work is that they basically kind of allow you to view your data in different ways. So, what results does is that it lets you quickly view and analyze your results in a default report consisting of question-based pages and customizable visualizations. Reports, on the other hand, are editable, meaning that you can kind of mess around or filter the data that you want to appear on the report. So if the results show you an entire overview of every single question and response on your form, you can start filtering and narrowing down your data through the reports. So now that we've gone over the differences, let's just go and open our form to show you how to access these two features. So if you open your form here, we have customer feedback for cafe. Also just note, make sure that you do actually have info or answers on your form before doing this. So here we're just on the cafe feedback form and what we're gonna do is open the results page so we can show you what it looks like. On the upper left corner of the page, you're gonna see this little horizontal menu with options of survey, workflows, distributions. We're going to open results to show you guys what it looks like. So here the results actually just gives you a general summary of all the answers and questions of, that are on your form. The great thing about Qualtrics is that they also immediately kind of start creating these tables using your information so that it's easy to visualize. They also provide a lot of important statistics, such as the minimum, maximum, mean, standard deviation, the variance, and the count. So you can see how accurate the information is. Also, depending on the question, the information they provide differs. So here, because we have some, some matrix questions, this is what the matrix question would look like. Each bar corresponds to one type of thing that they rated. So here, quality, price, and service. And then, as for the y-axis on the left side, it corresponds to the score they gave. Here, they also gave a bit more of the statistics right below. You can also add an extra visual visualization if you feel that you need to. Here, as you can see, the information and the visualization changes depending on what kind of questions you're asking. But typically, you're going to see a pretty generic field of the minimum, maximums, means, standard deviations, variance, and counts of each question. Okay, so this is what a default report looks like. What exactly does a filtered report look like? So let's head over to the reports on the right-hand side, right beside the results option. Here you're given a more page view of what it would look like. This is just a report that we had created moments before where we had filtered out every question that wasn't about the product itself. So for questions like what's your email or how did you feel about the server, we removed leaving us with this very quick summary of how our report would look like on a piece of paper. Additionally, as you can see, the data also kind of looks a bit different on this end simply because not all of the visualizations look exactly the same as before. They're a bit more condensed than this. Another really cool thing about this is that you can also add a filter to your question. So that, let's say if you only want to view those who answered coffee in a specific multiple choice question, you can actually show that so that only the coffee answers show. Or if you want not coffee, bag, shirt, or whatever option you might be working with. Also, another difference I would take note of is that unlike results, which is the previous one we showed just a while ago. The way that reports work is that you can actually start editing your final report so that you can basically mess around with more of the aesthetic options, meaning that since, as you can see, everything's on a page view version, this is what the final report would look like if you were to export it. You can also enter a lot more graphics, a lot more questions, survey metadata, text, images, black spaces, providers, visualization, Anything that might have to do with editing a generic document is applicable to when you're editing the report, unlike the results where you can't really mess around with these things. Your results literally just shows you the data as is. 
And that's all I really have to say about this. Hopefully this helps you better match any data collection you might be doing. Thank you so much for watching my videos. Be sure to like and subscribe. If you need any more help when it comes to pop tricks, be sure to check out the rest of our channel using either the link on the upper right corner of this video or any of the links below. See you next time!